Now I'm going to push the wheel to one side. I don't have a ton of space, but I'm going to push to one side and I'm going to close the skewer. Now I'm going to spin the wheel again and the wheel just stopped really quick. So that's a lot of stuff for people are going to experience where we just have that brake rubber like what's going on. So as long as the rest of the brakes are working okay, the brake arm is fastened to the, front, the fork or frame okay, brake pad is positioned okay. Um, if nothing else changed, all you did was just open the quick release or if you had disc brakes, you just took the wheel off. If the wheel is slightly crooked, disc brake is going to rub the brake. Same with this wheel. Wheel could be angled over, hitting our brake pad. So in this case, since the wheel's on, all we got to do to straighten this wheel, hold the bike straight up and down. We're going to flip that quick release open. You're not going to touch the wheel at all. You're going to let the wheel do it at once. In some cases, as soon as you flip open, you might hear or see the wheel correct itself, find its center, because basically it's an axle going across, and then it's got to fit on these two dropouts here. So if the axle is a little crooked, as soon as you open it up, it's going to straighten itself up. If it doesn't, we're going to give it a tap to break it loose and to help it find its home. So for crooked now, we're going to flip this open. I just saw it move slightly, probably didn't see that on camera, but also I'm going to give it a nice good tap. Want that vibration, so if something's stuck, it's going to break loose, find its home. Now it's even, we're going to go ahead and close this back. All this without touching that front wheel, so lift the wheel back up off the ground. Now we're free again. Test that brake, good to go. Hope that helps.